everyone, it's Brittany here, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial and show you guys how to make a charm. Um, I'll show you how to make the initial charm, and then I'll show you how to put it all together and make a chunky charm. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not a jewelry maker or anything like that, so I may not know all the correct terms, but I'm going to do my best. So, first, you're going to need some head pins, and you can get these at Walmart in the jewelry section. I believe they're $2 there, and you can get them at Hobby Lobby, and I think they're about the same price but you can use the coupon at Hobby Lobby. So first, you have this side, this kind, which has um, like a nail head, it's flat. And then there's this kind, which is called an eye pin, and it has a little circle there. And the eye pin is better if you want to hang a, another charm off the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna put beads on it. And I've already done that just for the sake of the video. Um, I could actually put one more on here. So I leave about that much left, let's see, that's about, it's not quite a half an inch. Um, and then it does work better if you have round nose pliers, but if you don't, it's not a big deal. Um, I got these, they're really small. I got them with a few, two other ones in a three pack at Harbor Freight for like $4. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these fairly close to the top. And then we're just going to bend our charm around it. And if you have the flat nose pliers, um, you might need to finagle it a little more. But see, my, my circle still isn't perfect, but I don't really care. Um, as long as it's closed, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. So there's our charm. And then you're just going to take some jump rings if you want jump rings. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I just take two pairs of pliers here. And I do know that don't pull them apart. Don't pull the circle to open it. You want to twist it. And then you can, you know, put it on here. Put it on your charm. So now it has something to hang. And you could just put a lobster clasp up here if you wanted. So you would just have one charm. Or you can take one of these and... They have Tim Holtz brand and they have the Spare Parts brand. There is a small and a large. Um, and they are also different colors. And then what you do for a chunky charm is just add this on here. And again, you twist it shut. And so now we have one hanging. And I'll add another one. So I've already made this one here. And we're just going to grab another jump ring. Put it through there. And I like to just evenly space mine. So, like, <coughs> excuse me. So I'll go three away. And then I would do three up from that one also. And by three, I mean like the chain links. And then again, we're just going to twist it shut, not pull it. Oops. These tiny pliers are kind of hard. So now we have two hanging. And then I don't have any other ones made, but you could keep going. And I like to use these keys a lot. Um, so here's a key, and I think I got this at Walmart in like a six pack or something for about two dollars. And then you're going to take another jump ring, or you can do more. Um, I like to add more usually um, if I'm doing charms, like the little charms, you know, or keys or whatever, because I like them to dangle a little bit like the beads do. And then on the bottom here, I'm just going to take this key and put it on the bottom. I hope you guys can see all of this okay. And then we're going to twist it shut. And so now we have one key on there. And again, I would just space it up. So this one is two, well, yeah, two below that. So I would do two below this one. And then I would hang another bead one up here. I'll just do it real quick. But that's what it's looking like. So we'll make another one real quick.
Sorry if you can hear my kids in the background. They're playing. I've tried to do this video like five times now, so. <laughs> At least they're playing. And I really do. I like to use the different size beads. I don't like them to look totally even. Um, some people do, and that's fine too. I just, I like them to not look, you know, the same as everything else. So with this one, I have a little bit more left. Well, let's see, we'll add a little bit in here. Okay, that's good. So again, we're just going to bend the tip to form a little circle. And sometimes I have to really finagle it because it's hard to t uh, tuck it back in there. So there's that one. And again, we're just going to take a jump ring. And we're going to add it. I counted three, so one, two, three. And why it's good to evenly space them is so that your charm isn't really super bulky on one side and not on the other. So here's what our charm's looking like. And then I'll just do another thing with the key. And this one I'm going to use two of the jump rings just so it has that little dangle. Hopefully, if nothing else, you guys can follow along with what I'm saying. I know it's hard to see these. Okay, and I'm just going to add this one here. Oops, where did it go? Oh, it did add. <laughs> okay. So, now there's that key. So now you can see it's really kind of becoming a chunky charm. Um, and you can keep going. You can add as much, as little as you want. Um, I like mine to still dangle. So that is my chunky charm. And I hope this little tutorial helped you guys, um, you know, figure it out. It's a little harder at first. I had a little bit of trouble like with my first two, but then it's really easy. You really get the hang of it. So thank you for watching, and I hope this helped. Have a great day.